Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on Cake PHP. In this tutorial, came at um, the logout system. So we'll build a logout system for this and if you pan to the right, we will add a logout link right here. So first of all, we are going to hit the layout uh, file. So we will, we will go to an, open our default layout file. So we'll go to a folder and um, there we are in our folder and inside our folder we will go to controller first of all we'll go to a controller and uh, we'll go to users controller then we create a method for logout so i'll just put it anywhere so i'll put mine here as uh, well i'll prefer to put it under the login function so we are here we have um public function logout and it helps lock the user out and what it will just be is to set a flash message we're just going to say this uh, flash and it's going to be success your logout is successful or you are logged out you are now logged out so there we are and then we actually have to log this user out so we will redirect you can say return uh, this redirect and then we will this of logout so this handles the actual logout of the system and um, we have to actually put this link on this page so that the user can once they are logged in they can see it so we will head to we'll open our layout file so if you are following this you just go to your folders we hit on templates then we hit on layouts we have default layouts this is the ajax layout and this is the error layout you can create more layouts but this is the default the one we're currently using and i remember i told you it was built with foundation so if you know how to if you know foundation you can modify it easily so you can import bootstrap and you start using your bootstrap like we did now what we're looking at Basic, what we're looking for is this link. This is a HTML link that says takes us to the API documentation of Cake PHP. But we will change it and we'll use Cake PHP's HTML helper. And uh, this is how it goes. You just echo this. The HTML helper helps you to create things like link. So we're saying HTML and we want to create a link. And um, that's how you create links in Cake PHP smart links. So the the text that will be on the link, what would the users will see is logout, and then where it's going to lead them to is to a controller, controller called users, users. Then inside that controller, it's going to lead them to a method called an action or a method called logout. Alright, and uh, so when they click on logout, it takes them to logout and logout to handle the logout. Alright, so we're going to delete this other guy. And uh, if we come back home, we'll refresh and keep your eyes here. And once the refresh is done, we now have a logout link. Alright, now that is done, let us click a logout link and see what happens. I've clicked on it, it's refreshing, and uh, we, are, we are now logged out. So the logout was successful, and we are back to the login page. Very, very nice and easy. Now, there is a problem. Let us log in again. Let me show you. When you are logged in from Hillary, and uh, the password is password. After login, we can still access the, log, the login page, and that's really bad code. We are logged in right now, so let me show you that we can still access the login page. We are, let us visit users login and hit enter. And uh, what we have is the login page is still accessible to us. And that, that's wrong. When a user is logged in, they're not supposed to see the login page. So which means there's something we did on our users login action that we didn't do well. Uh, we didn't do perfectly well. So if we come to the login action inside our users controller, we see that uh, most of the task is happening only after a user has submitted the form the login form that's when the request is post then we start processing it and uh, uh, here we first of all check if the user is logged in and if the user is already logged in we tell them that they're already logged in then otherwise we attempt to log them in but um, 
this is not cool we should once the user visits the login page we should first of all check if the user is logged in even before they submit the form so i'll take this uh, bit of code here i'll take this bit of code and put it outside here so first of all we're going to once the user opens the page at all we will check if they are logged in if they are logged in we will direct them to the index page straight up they don't need to submit any form so but then if they are not logged in this if statement will not run if they are not already logged in and um, the page will just open then if they click the submit button this one will attempt to load so what we'll do is we remove this else statement look at it, the ends here i'll delete this and i'll delete this so we're doing a um, simple method check if user is logged in and this is cool then uh, we're going to say check if uh, login form is submitted cool then we do the rest of the processing and that's cool so if the user is logged in we're going to send a warning message to the user saying you already logged in but if you try this right now it will throw an error because there's we've not created this warning by default kickphp creates success and error for us but then if you want more types of message message designs you understand you have to create them manually by yourself but let's see the error first of all we get back to our page and we refresh this page users login and they're supposed to throw a warning message to us but it will throw an error because we've not created the warning message it's telling us that in element flash warning.ctp is missing that is it's trying to throw this warning message this warning message is basically a design that will handle this text so what we're going to do is to actually go to that element we we'll go to our templates if we go to our um, src and uh, we we'll hit our templates we we'll see elements then we we'll see flash now uh, first of all elements are chunks of code you could use in your website for instance uh, when we were uh, if we didn't have this error you notice that we had menus and menus were repeating in all pages what we'll do is collect one one menu that will be intelligent and smart enough to handle all pages then we'll put it in the elements folder so in every page we'll simply call that menu so that if we change anything it will just um, reflect in all all menus all right so that's what you do in elements we'll get to that so inside element there's a default that comes with cake php you have default you have error and you have success so which because of this default we can actually do a default here we can do uh default all these things are just designs colors you understand so but we want to do warning and uh, what it will result to is that we have to uh, create a warning so let me open let me open the success message for instance or let, let's open the error message and uh, we'll see what's inside so as you can see what's just inside is it's checking whether there's a flash message at all if there's a flash message at all then it's going to output this div and print the message inside this div if you look at in this div there's a css uh, that's called error inside um in our default.ctp we imported two css files one is base one is cake you understand so if you want to change the design of this and uh you can change it to success if assuming there is a success um cs code for css inside cake what we can do is um we use bootstraps um we can use bootstraps um errors so we can go to get bootstrap slash components let us look at a uh, bootstrap a lot and how bootstrap displays a lot i'm just trying to show you that you can use it so we will simply scroll down to where there is a lot i'm waiting for the page to finish loading after it has loaded we just hijack a lot a lot in bootstrap and uh, there we are and i'm just going to click control here we are we have an alert already and uh, this simply displays an alert but i want to check out I want to find more alerts so ctrl f and uh, search through the page oh we just passed it so there we are so this is how bootstrap displays certain messages and uh, we're just going to look for the one that it is that is warning and uh, that's it here so we copy this okay i copy it hold shift on my keyboard and left click uh, left until I reach the extreme 
and uh, there we are I just go to the extreme and I'll control C and um, let me just paste it here so this basically takes bootstrap um, these are sample bootstrap alert messages and inside there we will just choose the one that is the best for us we're looking for warning but first of all I want to duplicate this page so I will come to this and uh, duplicate this Control V I did Control C Control V to copy and paste it again so I'm now going to change this to warning .ctp then I'm going to open warning .ctp and um, as you can see I'll just delete this whatever we had here I'll just delete it okay the only thing I need is the warning warning here okay cool so I'll take warning and I'll come here and whatever we have here I will paste and as you can see this is what we pasted before we delete it so we're trying to replace this guy with the bootstraps way of the displaying a lot messages first of all we have to copy this message and uh, paste it here then secondly we are going to copy what is on on click so um, on click here so so that when the user clicks it it disappears and that's it so we can uh, delete this so we've created one in the CTP using bootstraps uh, system and we have bootstrap installed so if we get back to our code and refresh the warning should go all right but the message didn't display because the flash message in cake php displays only once on, on one page load so if we wanted to display again we have to attempt to visit the login page and uh, hit enter and let's see whether what we just did worked as you can see it it worked so um, look at the warning message and it looks cool what, what you can do for that is to try and bring it to the center which is if you know bootstrap you know that you just have to add a um, text center here and uh, do some other bootstrap manipulations but this is just the way to import uh, bootstrap stuff into your cake all right and uh, remember that cake is using foundation so right now we've done a, a site that um, you can't see the login page unless you are logged out so if you put login unless you're logged out you can't see the login page and we've also done the logout function so that if a user hits on logout they will be logged out straight up very cool isn't this amazing so see you in the next tutorial where we go further deeper into cake php and discover really amazing things if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel by now this is the time to do it so you visit youtube.com slash c slash brain temple brain temp org and hit on the subscribe button thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial